What's happening guys? Coming at you today with another frequently asked question episode via JP at Down for Sound. So we get tons of questions here and we try to address as many of them as possible. In this video, we're gonna be going over why does my system make a loud thump or a loud pop when I turn the system off and how do I fix it? So we're gonna go over that. It's usually a very simple fix, but first, before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell so you enable the notification so you know every time we upload a video here and you can either learn something or watch a very cool demo video. All right, we're gonna get right into this. So uh, on display we here we have a JP23 amplifier, one of the most beautiful, I might be a little biased, but one of the most beautiful 2000 watt amplifiers on the market. Strictly for conversation piece. We don't have any of these problems with this amplifier, obviously, but we wanted to have an amplifier here to talk about. So what happens um, when you have this problem? If you haven't ever had the problem, you're blessed. <laughs> you don't want to have this problem, but usually it's easy to fix. So what happens in these people's systems is when they turn the key off, they have this loud pop sometimes it's or, or a thump sometimes it's just through their subwoofers sometimes it's through just their mids or sometimes it's through the entire system uh, this usually is created from your amplifiers or your head unit losing signal or uh, power before the other thing so one of them is losing it before the other thing which is causing that pop so the way that you need to fix that or the way that we fix that is Every time that I've ever addressed this, it's been by using a relay. You wanna add a relay into your remote terminal. So right here you have your remote wire. If you have several different amplifiers, some people just piggyback the remotes from this amplifier to the next amplifier to the next amplifier, something like that, which if you cut the signal and the initial power or the initial uh, run of remote wire is coming in here and you have another amp that's six feet that way from this one obviously this one's going to turn off before the other one so it's going to create that issue so the way that you could fix that is to have it where your relay you have your relay and then you'll have a run coming to this uh this amplifier run going to the other amplifier try to keep them the same length as well but usually adding the relay in on your remote wires fixes that uh, issue like i said 99 percent of the time this has been able to be fixed by adding a small relay, you can get them from wherever, besides here, we don't sell relays, but you can go to your local auto parts store or anything like that, grab a cheap relay, 40 amp relay, and uh, this, I would be willing to bet it's gonna fix your problem. So you won't have that pop anymore through your speakers, whether it be your speakers, your subwoofers, or both. So I hope this information has found you well. And if you know of anything, if you've been doing car audio, and if you know of any tricks of the trade that you have done in the past that have uh, helped remedy this issue or any of the other issues, if you see me uploading videos and I'm, obviously it's just my opinion. So you may have found things out that work great as well. So if you found other things that work for uh, fixing turn off pop, or any of these other issues, be sure to post them in the comments. I like, I'm definitely open to learning. I don't know everything, but I definitely try to share the information that I do know and what I have found out that works for me or for other people in the past. So I appreciate you joining in on another video or another episode of Frequently Asked Questions with JP, and we will see you in the next one. Later.